overnight. First night in the desert, and uh, just absolutely spectacular. Uh, yesterday was just a breeze. Yeah. So we left Birdsville at about 10, 10 30, and after refueling and stocking up with water and other bits and pieces, and then we head out to across the Simpson Big Red. Uh, tackled that one yesterday. Uh, had a really nice drive actually. Um, the dunes aren't too bad. Kind of glad that we're uh, heading from east to west. Uh, there's been quite a few four-wheel drives towing town heading into Birdsville. Uh, it's just made the downwards approach of the back of the dunes really heated up, and that's been interesting. Um, cars have been handling it really well. This is just unreal. Come down, I left Birdsville this morning, and um, I think we've only done about 20 dunes after Big Red. We have popped over into a river. The track's actually closed here, but there's a detour with a crossing further up apparently, so we'll, um, we'll head that way and check it out along with the others. Just uh, pulled over, had a bit of lunch in this beautiful spot. Absolutely amazing. You know that the guys in the east suffered with some flooding. Um, this is the result actually, the water flowing through the channel country and down through into Birdsville. Uh, much needed water and the greenery and the wildflowers that are out. Just amazing. sitting like
that the borders were, but he was out. And that's a replica of the original post. The original post is actually in the museum in Adelaide. Oh. They cut it down for a replica. Because the Simpson Desert. Majority of South Australians so it's owned by the South Australian Parliament. Set of travellers for the morning. We've been on the track for what two hours? 8:30. 8:30. So a bit over two hours, and we've done about 25 kilometres this morning. Uh, camped not far from Colson's track turn off. I wouldn't camp at Colson's track. Um, popular camp spot. It is quite open, but there's no firewood to collect there, so you have to go and find it. So we, uh, we ended up pulling up about two, three kilometres from the actual turnoff and camped in between a couple of the dunes and found heaps of firewood there that we could use for the night. I tried to cook a pizza. I don't have a, a camp oven. So I dug a hole, put some coals in it and used our saucepan as a bit of a makeshift which worked quite well the first time. The second time I forgot about it and got too enthralled in my first pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, burnt the second one. So dinner was a bit light on last night.
Well, here we are. Yesterday, we come through here. We followed the French line. We stopped at this bore along here into Dalhousie Springs after three days of a desert, much needed bath, beautiful water. Um, and we camped for the night. This is the dotted line here is the conservation reserve. So there's no camping in anywhere where you see that dotted line without paying for it. So we made it right through to, you can just faintly see a creek, that creek line. We camped on the edge of the creek for our night stay. So about five kilometers from out there for the night. Today, we're hoping to get to all the roofs. We'll see how we go. There we fill up. And go broke. Out there! Most expensive fuel in Australia, I reckon. Anyway, that's what it costs to come in the outback. Simpson Desert crossing. The actual Simpson Desert is three days of, of sand hills. Um, we took four days to get out of the, out of and into Mount Dare, but really the Simpson Desert ends a fair way from Mount Dare, and then you go into a conservation reserve. So the actual Simpson Desert's like a national park. You're allowed to camp and. Collect firewood so long as it's already on the ground and dead. Um, you're not allowed to deviate from the track any more than 50 meters in either direction. Um, obviously, while you're looking for a campsite for the night. Whereas when you leave the actual Simpson Desert and get into the conservation reserve, you're not allowed to camp anywhere other than. head through on episode three from Mount Dare, Uluru, Alice Springs and West McDonald's Ranges.